Hello everyone, welcome to Book Club Preview. I'm Michael, and today we're looking at Fantastic Mr. Fox, Chapter 3 and 4. So in this chapter, chapters, Chapter 3, it starts with Mr. Fox, you know, just saying, so what is it, honey? What do you want for dinner? And Mrs. Fox says, I would like ducks. Get one duck for me and you, and one duck for the children. Awesome, says Mr. Fox. I'm off to get some ducks. But of course, Mrs. Fox, she says, well, honey, please be careful. Because you know those guys really want to, um, really want to kill you. It's like, don't worry, I'll be safe. So he goes out of his hole. But like always, whenever he goes out of his hole, he kind of comes out a little bit, looks around. Okay, smells safe. Comes out a little bit, looks around. And it just so happened at this time, Bogus, Bunce, and Bean, they were all downwind. Remember, we learned that last week. Downwind of Mr. Fox. So when the wind blew, the smell from Bogus, Bunce, and Bean went away from Mr. Fox's face. So the wind was coming behind Mr. Fox. So he didn't smell them. But he felt, oh, maybe something's a little strange. He comes out a little bit more, and he, he heard something. Something like a foot crunching a leaf. No. Okay, maybe that was a mouse. He comes out a little bit more, and the, the moon is shining so bright, and he sees something shining out by the tree. What, what is it? And slowly, it comes out. It... Is that a, a gun by a human? Oh, no. He turns around and he runs back to his hole. <gasps> boom, 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 boom. What happened? The brothers all come over. They're searching around and they find a tail. Oh, uh, we didn't get the fox, but we did get his tail. Well, the brothers don't want to wait for three days. For Mr. Fox to heal and then come out again. And so they decide to go away and get some shovels to dig out Mr. Fox. Chapter 4. Mr. Fox. <laughs> well, he's not crying. But he's, hmm, my tail. And Mrs. Fox says, oh. She licks it to make it kind of heal better. Oh, it was the be most beautiful tail in all the forest. And Mr. Fox looks a little sad. And his kids say, oh, don't worry, Daddy. It'll grow back. And Mr. Fox says, no. No, my tail will never grow back. Oh, well, everyone's tired. And they're still full from last night. So everyone decides to go to bed. But Mr. Fox can't sleep. Maybe it's because he's so sad. <sighs> But he hears suddenly, what? <laughs> Shovels! Wake up, wake up, kids! Mom, wake up! Shovels! The, I don't know what their last names are, but Bogus, Bunce, and Bean, they're digging into the hole. Oh no! Mrs. Fox starts crying. They're gonna kill my baby, so what are we gonna do? Mr. Fox doesn't know what to do. And then, out from the roof, they can see a shovel poking down. Oh, no! Mr. Fox, boom, gets an idea. Foxes can dig faster than anything. Dig down, everyone, dig! And so the whole family starts to dig deeper into their hole. And soon, they can't hear the sound of shovels anymore. They dig all the way down for one hour, they're dig, and they stop. <sighs> okay, I think we're safe. <sighs> oh, relax. <sighs> and then Mrs. Fox says, children, right now we would be dead if it wasn't for your father. He is such a fantastic fox. And Mr. Fox felt, <gasps> oh, Wow, honey, thank you so much. I just love it. He's thinking this. Oh, I just love it. 
when you talk about me like that. And that is the end of chapter four. A bunch of vocabulary words here. Blah, 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 vocabulary words here. The first one, goon or goons, many. A goon is like a big, strong person that's not very smart. And so bogus bunts and bean are maybe goons. Mr. Fox calls them. Oh, those three goons, those big, stupid guys. Um, yeah. Uh, gives off is kind of this um, coming off of you something. And that can be a smell, right? Which he says has a stink like yucky ducks or something like that yucky chickens but it can also be a feeling like if i if i look at you really angry i give off this sense of i don't want to be your friend right so it can be a smell or a feeling uh it can be different things but give off uh reeks is actually a smell and that's kind of um something that smells really bad and strong really strong smell and the last one fumes um if you think of some chemicals right maybe some poison and if you uh on a cartoon usually if there's some poison you can see something come out some kind of smell this smoke Although it's not like real smoke, but you can see something coming out. We call those fumes. Um, sometimes, like, um, uh, I, I don't know if you have a gas stove, okay, uh, that uses not electricity, but uses some gas, and you can click it, click, 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 click and it, you can hear the sound, and some gas is coming out. If you look closely where that gas is coming out, you can see some those are fumes so the last one has fumes of apple cider <laughs> coming off of him cocky this is like a rooster a rooster kind of walks around <laughs> walking around like he owns the area okay and mr fox is walking around cocky like a rooster yeah don't worry honey i can do it um, pricked his ears boink. they pricked up they stuck out Ooh, what is it he hears something uh, prick can also be like a boink ow um, a needle can prick your finger crept is to walk slowly and silently murky is like unclear uh, dirty uh, if I had some water and I put some dirt inside and I mixed up the water and it would be brown and you couldn't see through it. It would look murky. And the night was murky because it's nighttime. Gloom. Um, gloom is also um, darkness, um, uh, cloudy, foggy. It's more of a feeling. It's describing how things look but it also has a feeling of like oh yuck scary dangerous sad dozed off <sniffs> fell asleep sobbed <laughs> cried panting <sighs> like a dog right uh, having your breath go in and out quickly from your mouth Probably that's pen. <laughs> Probably your tongue is sticking out too to cool off your body. Oh, that, that was the last this last vocabulary word. Uh, if there's more, you can ask them when we meet. For my discussion question here, what makes you love someone more? All right. Um, for Mr. Fox, when Mrs. Fox says really good things about him, oh, kids, your father is so amazing and wonderful. Mr. Fox feels, oh, wow, I just feel so happy and loved. What makes you feel loved? Uh, your, what do your parents do or your siblings or your friends even, or maybe even a teacher? What is something they can do that makes you feel more loved? Now, I also want you to think of your own discussion question, okay? That's your homework, although we don't really have homework, but that's your assignment. 
okay? As you read chapter three and chapter four, out of those two chapters, what is something that made you think? A question you have for us to talk about. Now on the vocabulary words, um, let me go back to those here for a second. All of these words here, um, you can pick, I would say, at the most five. Okay, don't do more than five. But if you want, you can pick those words and make a sentence with them. And you can practice using that vocabulary and I'll check it to see if you use the word correctly or if you understand the word correctly. And we'll check them together. You don't have to do that. It's not a homework, it's not extra. Well, it is extra if you want to study more and increase your vocabulary level. And that's up to you. Discussion question, you have to do. Vocabulary is a choice. That is all the time that we have for today. But thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Book Club Preview. I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Hey, if you have any questions about the video today, uh, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. If you had any other vocabulary words that you wanted to know what they meant, uh, let me know. And also, if you're interested in maybe joining one of these book clubs, um, please leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.